What up, guys? This is uh, Booty Bands, and we are talking about which booty do you have? We have no booty, low booty, square booty, and big old booty that we're talking about. So come on in. Let me know where you're from. This is Booty Bands Official, and we are every Wednesday, 5 o'clock p.m., shooting you information, whether it be anything from self-love, booty, whatever. But today's topic is what booty you have and how we can help you. What's up, Karen? It's great to see you. Awesome, awesome. So um, for those, we're just going to kind of wait and to get everybody on board before I go into my 15-minute um, while you're driving home or whatever you guys are doing. Um, just let me know where you guys are from, and uh, we can go ahead and go into my lecture of if you are a no booty, low booty, square booty, and big old booty, and how to go over your current problems and how to fix those problems, because I am here to help you. Um, so yeah, let me know where you're from. Massachusetts, what's up? Uh, Seattle. I, of course, I love doing all these videos. Um, this, is, this is honestly just a passion. I love this. I love sharing my information with you guys. Love it, I love it. South Dakota, what's up? Originally New York City, but now you're in Florida. Awesome. I am in um, San Diego, California. It is bright and sunshine. It hasn't been like this for the last couple of days. It's actually been pretty rainy, but um, Florida's probably pretty good. Massachusetts, whoo. I don't know. Yep, yep. Uh, where else are you guys at? I have the bottom right booty. Bottom right. Okay, so your guys' screens flipped around, um, Instagram, by the way. So through the discussion, when I'm going over the whiteboard, I'll flip it the other way for you so you guys can see it, okay? Uh, what up, Georgia? Awesome, awesome. Um, and yeah, so I'll, let, I'll make sure that you guys are able to see this whole board. So since, uh, okay, so I got Facebook, I got Andrea on. Awesome. Okay, so you guys can't see this, but... I'm going over new boot, no booty, low booty, square booty, big old booty. And we're going over your problems that you face and the solutions. And I'm doing this as a live too, so that way if you guys are able to find or you have current problems that I didn't bring up, um, then we can go over them together. Because at the very end, I want to do a five minutes Q&A. So if you're having a problem, I want to be able to solve that with you. Cool. Um, okay, so I got more people up in Florida. It's 68 degrees in Florida. It's not bad. Milwaukee, cool. Um, Georgia, lots of snow. Awesome. Um, using my booty bands from the giveaway. Awesome. Caffeine, sweet to see you. Yep, this is the girl behind booty bands. What's up, guys? And we've got Arizona coming in. We've got two people from Arizona. Do you guys know each other? Um, Ash Chamberlain. Hey, Ash, I love your face, by the way. You're awesome. Cool. I'm starting to, like, recognize you. This is kind of fun. Okay, so today's topic, again, is what type of booty that you have, the problems that you face, and how we are going to fix those problems. At the very end of this, hold your questions for me because I can't look at them now, but hold your questions for me because I want to be able to go into a Q&A with you and, um, and be able to solve anything that you're currently experiencing. Awesome. Right? Okay, so um, I'm trying to think if that's it. Pretty much kind of like if you're coming on just right now, just kind of let you know we're, we're shooting where you guys are from. Because at the very end of this, I look to see where you guys are from, and it's awesome to read your guys' comments afterwards. It's a lot of fun. Cool? Okay. So I'm um, just going to kind of tell you who I am. If any of you guys don't know who I am, my name is Danita, and I created booty bands. Um, what is a booty band? Hold on just a second. This is a booty band, and I'll go into that a little bit more as far as what are booty bands. Yay! <laughs> that happened. Okay. Um, I guess when you're on a live, you can't really delete stuff, so all of my goofy humor is going to come out, um, or lack thereof. I actually not should never be a comedian um, or a singer for that, for that matter. I'm going to stick only to fitness. So speaking back to fitness, um, okay, so all of my no booty girls, and when I say no booty, I'm talking about there is no butt crack, okay? I'm talking about you are going from a back to a booty, and there's no booty, all right? So all of my girls that are zero booty, 
I want you to go ahead and type in a zero for me. I want to see who I'm speaking to because if, there, if there's girls that have all booties in here and they can't relate to it, then why am I even going to go into it, right? So if you have a no booty, go ahead and type a zero so I can see who you are. Cool. I got at least one person, two people coming in. Awesome. Don't be, don't be, don't be scared. So, We're here to help. so basically, um, no booty, the, the current problems that you're going to have are one, your clothes do not fit. Um, your bikini feels your, hey, bite on the set. Um, okay, so your, your clothes are gonna feel like they're baggy all the time, right? Um, shorts feel super weird because you can never feel shorts out. And also you feel like um, your swimsuit, whoever is making swimsuits is not making them for you. Like they are up in the night because they are making them definitely for somebody else. So um, other problems that you would face for no booty, um, you've either have bought them or you've considered buying them, but the inserts, basically your underwear that has the, uh, the booty implants, okay? Right, you guys have seen those before? Or you have bought these sketchers that say shape up, where it was actually essentially like a shoe that like, like tilted in the back. You may have bought those, right? Okay, all my no booty girls, maybe give me like a thumbs up if you have or have not. Maybe you considered it, okay? A few other problems with my no booty girls, and let me know too, my no booty girls, also help me out with this if you're experiencing something that I'm not bringing up as a problem. Um, you were told to squat. Usually from a male trainer, they were saying, just squat and you'll get a booty. And you tried it, you even did like the 30 day squat challenge and you looked in the mirror and you were like, nope, this isn't working. Alexandria, awesome, cool, I'm speaking to, speaking to my no booty girls, right? Um, yes, I love the, uh, the cute booty lounge as well. All that scrunch is so awesome because it definitely helps. Um, okay, so then the next is when somebody is telling you to dance and to shake your booty right? That's going to be all feel so uncomfortable because you're like, well, you know, like that, like walk where I'm supposed to like shake something, but like, I really, like nothing's there, right? It's just, it's not, it's not comfortable. Um, okay. So those are the current problems that we face. If you have a no booty, so all of my girls at my no booty, great job. Let me know if you have any other problems. And now I'm going to go into your solutions. Okay. First solution one, you probably have underactive glutes. What the hell does that mean, right? Um, if you have never heard of what underactive glutes are, in our day and age, we sit on our asses so much all the time. That what ends up, can you guys like, cool. Um, so what ends up happening is we get our, our glutes deactivated because what happens is our muscles forget to fire when we go and maybe we do walks or we do our workouts or we do exercises and our glutes aren't firing. That is called an underactive booty. What you're essentially going to feel is your quads are burning after your workout rather than your booty is going to be. So you're gonna go and try to do a squat and essentially you're gonna be feeling everything else firing except for your booty, right? That is an underactive booty. So a solution on how to fix that, I actually had just shot a video on this on my YouTube. If you haven't seen my YouTube channel, it's just called Booty Bands. Um, and what I do is I take you through a booty band workout where you put it around your legs and you actually do clams, mermaid, human kick. It's a, it's a workout I called mermaid. And essentially teaches you on how to activate your glutes before you go into your workout so you get the most out of your workout, okay? That's solution number one. That way your glutes are feeling it rather than quads and everything else, cool? Next is, um, are you eating enough? Okay, so my no booty girls, do you know what macros are? How much protein, carbs, and fats are you getting in your day or even in just your meals, right? So your key thing is you wanna make sure that you're feeding the muscle right afterwards. If you think you're just gonna to continue to starve the muscle, then all of that work that you just did in the gym is gonna go away, and we don't want that. We wanna make sure that you are feeding the muscle so therefore it's gonna keep it because the more muscle, the more shape you're going to have. So you've got to feed that muscle. So many girls are scared of it because they start lifting weights and they think, oh, I'm getting thicker. No, muscle will burn your fat and it's going to speed your metabolism and you've got to start loving muscle. Okay, that's what's going to keep your curves. Okay, 
Um, so third on the list is essentially workouts. So for my no booty girls, um, what I do when you buy the booty band, I didn't want to just sell a band. That is, that's not cool because that's not actually transforming you, right? So my program is designed with all of the three, targets the three areas of the booty. You have your uh, medius, which is the top, your maximus, which is the middle, and your minimus, which is the bottom. So I target all three of these in the 10 days of workouts. And then after those, my no booty girls, as you start to get strength, you're going to start adding weights into your workouts with the band. This keeps your knees stable, it strengthens your hips, your glutes, and your knees, and so therefore you can progress and get into heavier workouts. Are you with me? I have a few, I have a few people commenting, I'm seeing, cool. And then the last thing, um, so shape, muscle, shape, muscle, shape, eating to feed the muscle, right, for my no-booty girls. And the last one to talk about my no-booty girls, yes, you're with me, awesome, is making sure you have the clothes that fit right. So my no booty girls, when you see the word scrunch butt, you should fly on those. Why? Because my no booty girls, you need to accentuate those curves. No matter how little those curves are, you're gonna accentuate it with basically a scrunch into your bottoms. Bikinis is gonna look amazing on you with these, right? So I am now making a new line with all new um, pants. So stay tuned for my new line that's coming out. And it is accentuating the curves. And I'm so excited to show you because I'm going to wear them every single day. Um, okay. So now our next topic we're going to go into are my low booties. So these are my booty girls that hang low. Okay. I've got a few comments here. Let me go through them really quick and make sure I answered my no booty girls. Yes, I just started putting weights into my booty band workouts. Awesome. Mama Care Bear, reading you. Um, Nurse, Nurse Summer says, hey, just ordered mine from Canada. What up, Canada? Uh, what tea do you recommend to get rid of stubborn belly fat bloating along with the booty band workout? And it uh, looks like uh, Keto B21 just answered you. Green tea. Yes. So um, a little side note there because you guys are talking about tea. You guys know that if you are in my booty band private Facebook group, I'm trying to eliminate coffee and adding more green tea. So essentially, if I was having three coffees a day, I'm having two coffees a day and adding that green tea. Cool? Um, any green tea. I switch it up all the time. I, I love to just play around with different flavors and all that. Okay, my low booty girls. If you're my low booty girls, I want you to give me a one. Okay, so I already went to zero. That's my no booty girl. So if you're a low booty girl, meaning that gravity has taken over, you're starting to age and you're starting to see that your booty is sagging. Okay, let's be real. Let's be upfront right here. Okay, if you are this, go ahead and let me know because I want to be speaking to you. If I don't get any ones, I'm getting some ones. If I don't get any ones at all, then I don't want to talk about it as much, right? But I want to be speaking directly to you. Okay, awesome. I got some low booties. Usually you're going to see this around as you start to age. Why? Because as we're more and more on this planet, you're around gravity enough that it's going to start winning, right? I say this a lot, noticing it. I always ask right. But yeah, I'm wanting to know, like, do you guys believe me? Okay, yes, gravity is going to start taking over, essentially um, bringing everything down and lower and lower. So I used to always would grab my butt and I'd be like, only if it was like, ugh. Ugh, that would be perfect, right? Grab that booty and lift it up and just hold it there, and then it would just be awesome. So let's go into the common problems that you guys face. One, gravity effing sucks, right? Gravity sucks. Okay, two, aging sucks, right? Aging sucks, but guess what? We're all with you and we're all doing it together, okay? Um, three, your booty tends to feel more soft than it does firm, and that's why it's kind of going downwards. The more firm and more muscle that you have on you, the more that you're going to be having the curves in all the right places, rather than letting that booty slide down because it's soft and it's mostly fat and it's not muscle. Got it? Okay. So um, four, wrong clothes can worsen the shape. So the worst thing that I've done is put on some shorts and looked in the mirror and saw my ass was clear down my leg. I was like, oh, this isn't going to look good, right? So let's go into your solutions now as far as how to fix this. What up, Facebook? You guys are, hey. Okay, so I've got a lot more no booties. I've got more low booties than I do no booties. Okay, good to know. Glad you guys are talking to me. This is good. Like it. Okay. 
So my solutions for my low booty, my gravity, aging sucks, girls. The first one I wanted to talk about is um, excessive fat. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, getting rid of excessive fat on your body. So essentially wanting to make sure that we're shrinking down the fat cells to really make sure that we're going to be not having a lot of fat on us to be able to make sure we're not drooping everything downwards, right? We wanna make sure that we're gonna be replacing that with muscle, which we're gonna talk about. So the biggest thing that you wanna make sure you're gonna talk um, on all of the booties is make sure that you're eating clean. Now I say this a lot, but I do realize that some of you may go, what the hell does eating clean? Does that mean I just need to clean my fruits and vegetables and I need to clean my broccoli more? No, what I mean by cleaning a clean food is you're not going fast food, you're not eating junk food, you're not eating things that's in the middle of the shelf in the grocery aisle, you're looking around the outside perimeter of the grocery store, so you're looking at foods that essentially, when I say clean, are that are going through your body clean. They're not sticking to everything else, as such as um, adding fat, I love your guys' smiley faces right now, it's cute, okay. Um, yeah, so eating clean, right? Does that help you guys a little bit? Yay, you nay? Thumbs up, yeah, okay, eating clean is going to help it so you're gonna be less saggy in that area. Um, the other one I wanted to talk about, muscle. Oh God, okay, let's really talk about muscle now. So muscle in this area is gonna be so key, thanks for the thumbs up, awesome. Muscle is so key for my sagging girls out there because when you start to add muscle, essentially you're going to just be firming and lifting that booty higher. So you want to know, ah! okay, sorry, video paused, phone call. Um, okay, super popular over here. So um, I've got the medius, the maximus, and the minimus. I'm going to go over them one more time. The medius, okay, I do this in my first workout with you guys. And what it is is you're going to place the booty band around your legs, and you're going to lie on the ground, and you're going to be doing that clam, right? You guys know this. If you're my booty band girls. And then the next one is the human, the mermaid, where you're gonna lift that foot up and then you're gonna do that one and then you're doing the human leg, right? So any lateral movement is really gonna help the medius, which is going to lift the booty. Oh gosh, I wanna show you guys some before and after pictures right now. Um, it's okay, so uh, I'll essentially, um, for my, for my no booty girls, I'll come back in and I'll show you some before and after pictures, okay? So if you put one, I'll go in and show you. Um, her name is Felicia, and what I did is I took a before and after picture, by the way. You better be taking your before and after pictures. Um, the best thing I did is I noticed like where most of her volume was in her booty, and I would put, okay, let me turn, and I would put a dot in the picture of like where most of her volume was. And then as she continued to keep doing the workouts uh, of the booty, with the booty band, then I was able to place that down. It was crazy how her before and after pictures, her butt just lifted like up to her back. It was awesome. So I'll show you that before and after picture. She was my first client and she was the whole reason why I started Booty Dance. Love you, Felicia. You're awesome. She's from Sweden. Um, but came to California and I, I personal trained her. Um, so yeah, so that is so, so important is really focusing on the medius, okay? That's gonna be essential. Um, again, the maximus, so there's exercises in the booty workouts that I give you guys when you buy the booty band, work on that maximus. Have you guys remember the word scorpion? <sighs> oh, I wanna do so many fun things with the scorpion because you guys are so cute. One girl said, Danita, I don't know where to do the scorpion. So I had another girl that goes, I scorpion over here. I scorpion over here. I scorpion on my car. I scorpion on a tire. And I was dying. I was laughing super hard. So I want to make like some phenomenal, like crazy scorpion video. And we do all that. Cool. Um, and then, yes, the bottom one is your supporter. So this one's key, key, key. Um, this is like your step ups and stuff like that. So if you are a low booty Get crazy with step ups, get crazy with your bands, and get crazy with your scorpions. Those are gonna be some three awesome workouts for you. Cool. Okay, and as far, okay, I'm sorry I'm on the low booty a lot because there was a lot of people. So um, you guys are also, your biggest thing is consistency. Your, what I highly recommend for every single one of you that's a low booty and you put one on my screen, I want you to take your before pictures today. And some of you, you're like, oh, no, I don't want to take a before picture. You don't have to send it to me. You don't have to send it to anyone. You don't have to show anybody, okay? You can hide it. Hide it in a file somewhere. Print it off and hide it. 
Don't let anyone see it, okay? So what is going to happen though is you'll be able to see your progress. And once you start seeing your progress, yeah, usually the first couple weeks you're gonna be like, oh, I don't see anything. Well, yeah, what about when that month hits and you go, whoa, I see a difference. Guess what? Now you're gonna get excited and now you wanna do it more and guess what happens when you do it more and more consistent? Guess what? That third, fourth, fifth month, you're gonna look back and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I took those pictures. Yeah, what's up? All right, so now let's go into um, the third category. Um, and the third category is my square booty. So don't laugh, okay, because <laughs> my graphics guy tried to make it and I had to kind of fix it. So I kind of drew it in there a little bit, so no laughing at my drawing skills. But essentially, uh, these girls, okay, if you have an issue with um, the square booty, okay, and I'll go over into those problems, go ahead and put a number two so I can see all my square booties out there. At the very end, I'm doing a question and a Q and A. Okay, so usually my square booties, you're gonna have problems with hip dips, otherwise known as violin hips. Um, usually you're just really square and cut off and you sometimes have a dip right here, cool? Uh, other common things that you're gonna notice is usually you guys do compound exercises or otherwise like um, squats a lot or deadlifts a lot or you do full body exercises. You don't really focus on isolation which is single leg exercises. Um, the other thing is your waist is a little bit thicker than what you want, right? Um, so you're a little bit more square and you're wanting to create more of a curve in your waist to make your booty look bigger, okay? Is that you? All right, got a few twos. What up my twos? Awesome, it's good to have you guys communicate with me because that way I can send pictures to you guys of something similar, a little before and after pictures. Cool? Okay, so square booties. Your biggest thing I want you guys to focus on is lateral movements with your band, okay? So this can be either lying down or standing exercises. So you would essentially put your band over your legs and you're going to be doing like walking squats and things like that. Or lying down, again, my favorite, the mermaids. Essentially what you're working here is you're, you're increasing the top portion of your booty, but you're also rounding it out. That is the biggest focus for you guys, is to round your booty out. So you, oh. Sorry, Instagram, what up, I'm back, okay. Um, so essentially you want to keep that nice good curve and that was one of the biggest things that I started realizing was I started doing um, Pilates back in the day and I've just incorporated Pilates movements with the band essentially just making it Irresistibly harder and you get results quicker Right, okay, so that's the first thing is lateral movements with your bands isolation movements is the other one I put for you guys isolation movements um so instead of just doing squats and deadlifts all the time um, you're working overall all muscles, okay? So you're working quads and you're working hamstrings and you're, you're working your core and you're working all these things. But what you wanna focus on is isolation. Isolation, again, is single leg exercises. So um, if any of you guys have been doing my program, which you guys should if you've gotten the booty band, um, the hot dog exercise where you're on your hands and knees and you're bringing your leg out like this, Okay, that's gonna give you a nice good roundness to your glutes as well, okay? And that's a single leg exercise. One of my most favorite ones, um, if you guys can find me on YouTube and go to my International Women's Day, I did an awesome single leg one there where it was a hip thrust with one leg and I reached out, did a lateral movement, came back in and down. So it's towards the end of the video. So find me on YouTube at Booty Bands, go to my International Women's Day and do that workout on there for all my number twoers, okay? Um, all right, so let's talk about the diet and really shrinking that waist. Again, I wanna go over, I wanna go over like clean foods with, clean foods again with you guys, again, Making sure that you're eating foods that's going through you. And what I mean by that is your healthy foods. And this is something that I know is more of a progression. I'm not a perfection type of person either. My journey with fitness is 
I thought fruit was super health, healthy, right? We, we learned that fruit and vegetables are healthy. But what I did is I overdid the fruit. I got crazy on fruit juice. So I started like getting plump and, and a lot thicker than I wanted to be. And so then I learned that, okay, vegetables are better for having shrinking down. And veg fruit is good, but have it more at the beginning part of your day so you can burn those that sugar off towards the end of the day. And at night, you can have vegetables rather than fruit, okay? So that was something I learned, just a small tidbit that was through your fitness journey. You're gonna learn little things like that. You're learning every single day, and the biggest thing is to implement them. So if you feel stuck, the biggest thing to do is look for a new recipe. I'm trying to put more recipes online. That's something I really wanna do for you guys, as well as I wanna make a cookbook for you guys so you get fun pictures and super easy recipes. Protein pancakes, all that fun stuff, right? Um, and the last one I want to cover for you guys is clothes. So again, focusing on accentuating those curves um, through your cl your clothes. And the biggest thing is trying them on and, and asking your girlfriend, like, hey, does this accentuate my curves? Because what looks good on her is not going to look good on you. And vice versa with all the other booties on here. So know your shape. And I can do another live on clothes later, but that's not our topic today. So essentially, um, I, I want to also... Um, if you guys have questions about booty bands, where do I get a booty band when I'm talking about all these workouts? What I want you to do is just comment booty below in the comment section, and that way I can help further send you a link of what booty bands is about. You'll get more of me and things like that, and we can go into it. Cool? Um, so we'll do it again, I'll, uh, and we'll go into our last one now. So the last topic I want to, or the last booty I want to go into, um, my favorite booty of all, is that big old booty. Every song is named after you, all right? You just take the whole show, every single one of my big booty girls. Um, so big booty girls, um, the, the common problems that you're going to see is, one, I put cellulite, right? Um, usually cellulite is going to be one of your biggest things too, to shaping your booty. You may have an awesome booty, but sometimes what happens is that gravity is going to start pulling it down. Aging is going to do some madness. That cellulite is not going to be fun. So we want to start shaping it, right? Next one is we want to perk that booty. We have a lot of muscle and maybe a lot of fat on there. So the biggest thing is we don't want it hanging low. We want to really bring it up and make it right onto that shelf, right? So we really can get all those songs named after you. And then the fourth one I put up here is we want to make sure it's firm, right? We can have a big old booty, but if it's soft, it's not as, not as juicy, right? So when they say juicy, it's about because it's firm. It's this ripe apple. I don't know. I'm getting weird, so don't, don't quote me. Okay, um, so big old booties. Now, if you guys are my big old booties, I want you to go ahead and put what number are we on? That's zero, one, two, three. If you're my big old booties, you're going to put three on here so I can speak directly to you. Also, let me know if there's other common problems that I'm not saying yet, so that way I can cover it. So far from the back, just needed to round it. Okay, so, um, okay, good. Let me know. So big old booties just wanting to round it. Okay, good to know. Keep me going. I am going to hold a little Q&A at the very end of this. I'm almost done. Stay with me. Stay with me. Um, okay, all right. I got my threes coming in. So I got some big old booty girls. Awesome. Um, Essentially, that's all we're going to do with you guys is we're just going to really learn how to lift, shape, perk it, firm it. That's what we're going to do with you guys, okay? Um, so the first topic I want to go into is really make sure you're eating clean. Um, when I say, again, eating clean, I'm bringing that up to every single one of the booties. Um, one, to one topic I want to go into is your macros. When I say macros, all I mean by that is I don't want it to be any fancier than just your protein, your carbs, and your fats. I want you to start looking at your plate that's in front of you and know exactly like, okay, which is protein, which is carbs, and which is fats, okay? And knowing that you should have protein in every single one of your meals so you can feed that booty, okay? Now let's also make sure that we're not overdoing any fast food, processed foods, and things like that because what's essentially gonna happen is we're gonna really overdo that booty in, in too much fat. So we want to have a good ratio of fat with muscle, so that way it's going to be that nice firm firmness, okay? So eating is super important, making sure that we're choosing right foods. And I've gone through other topics of what is good carbs, bad carbs, 
good fats, bad fats, good proteins, bad proteins. 100%, there's good and bad in all three areas. So if you do not know, what you'll do is just research it. A lot of my videos, I'm explaining them too, so you can find me on YouTube to find out more of this. Um, but yes, there is that. Cool? Um, next, let's go into workouts. So one of my most favorite workouts for my big booty girls is don't forget your hamstrings. And that is something that I realized the hard way as I start, started seeing a lot of cellulite on the back of my legs is that I was not working hamstrings. So hamstring curls, single leg deadlifts, deadlifts, straight leg deadlifts. Um, uh, I do a few exercises actually. Uh, I, have, I have some on YouTube as far as putting the dumbbell in between your legs and doing um, curls with a dumbbell, things like that. Um, there's so many good hamstring ones. So um, I'll keep sending those to you. I'm, gonna, I'm making videos honestly like every week even more putting them out on uh, on YouTube all the time to give you more of this because essentially that's who I'm speaking about is all of all of you guys for for my no booty low booty square or my big old booty um, also my big booty girls really focusing on um, the lateral movements again so if you want to round that booty like I said before anything that's going to be working this medius right up here which is going to be putting your band on and doing your walk doing your lying down, your mermaids that I've taught you in that first video, um, your hot dogs. Um, and again, like I said, in my International Women's Day on YouTube, that's a phenomenal one as well to really just start to firm it and put it right into place where we want it. Um, so um, let me know now if you have questions. Um, as far as clothes as well, same thing for, for you girls. Um, finding clothes that, that really um, are going to help lift it as well. There's, there's different products out there that can like help lift it as you're starting to kind of firm it too, but sometimes clothes aren't gonna look as good as they are on others or you, so really learning what fits best for your curvy look, cool? Okay, so now I'm done. I'm off my high horse. Um, basically, I just wanna say, if you, have, if you are brand new and have no idea what booty bands are again, I'll do, I'll do a rain dance for you as well. Um, these are booty bands, okay? So I initially started booty bands, um, the uh, the goal the the mission with booty bands um so <laughs> oh okay he wants to he wants to help play with me over here yeah so geez really um so the mission with booty bands is um I think you guys all know my story but I was a personal trainer and a note I was known as a a booty personal trainer I was known as a booty queen I could really lift round firm glutes no matter what size shape you were I could do it and uh, that's what I became known for all my transformation pictures were coming out and I wanted to have a band that stopped breaking on me I wanted to have a durable sturdy comfortable band and that's where booty bands came about and I absolutely love them I love the uh, private Facebook group that we've joined there's like 850 girls in there and it is so beautiful so Comment below if you are interested and want to know more about booty bands. Just comment below and we can help you. Because some of you are already my booty rating fans in here. I already can see some of you. You guys look, I can already like, it's so funny how I can even recognize your names. And others, you probably, this is the first time you've ever seen me. Well, what up? I'm Danita. You probably see me all over advertisements, right? Um, anyway, so now it's your turn. Let's go ahead. Bring in your questions. No booty, low booty, square booty. You got a big old booty. And if I did not um, hit a, um, your answer, your question, let me know. Let's bring it on in. Cool? Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Can you type out what's on this board? Yes. Um, Deborah, you are my um, you are in my um, Facebook community. So what I'm going to do is I'll take a picture of the board and I'll send it to you guys. Cool? Um, other questions on here? Does it matter if you have sensitive hips? Okay, Samantha, let's go into that. Let's go into that question really quick. Hopefully, you're still on here. She's on Facebook. I've got two platforms going on right now. Sensitive hips. Um, usually, if you have sensitive hips or your hips hurt, um, usually it's because your hips are are weak. And um, what I've noticed is that the bands will strengthen your hips. And I feel amazing after I do the workouts. I don't know if you guys can all agree with that. Um, 
Maybe give me a hands up if you guys feel the same way when you guys do those. But I essentially had a girl that came to me and she goes, Danita, I just have, I just have hip pain all the time. Like I wake up and I have hip pain. And I was like, really? And I said, will you just lay down and try the mermaid workout with me? And um, she did. And it was phenomenal. She got up and she goes, you know, this is so crazy. I feel like the pain is immediately gone. And I just really honestly just touched my heart to be able to help someone like that. Awesome, Deborah. Yep, I'll get that to you. Okay, some more questions. Bring it in. Okay, Instagram. How can big booty girls get a smaller waist? Awesome. So this is going out to Marie Caruse. Okay, so my big booty girls to get a smaller waist. Essentially, the biggest thing that you want to focus on is diet. Um, if you already have the glutes and it's already firm and perky and you're doing the workouts, great. Um, keep those up to be able to keep firming them because your glutes for a woman is a huge powerhouse. You're going to burn a lot of calories when you start doing your booty workouts. So you want to essentially start burning more calories and eating really clean meals. Um, one of the topics I went over in my last live was I have a lot of girls that are telling me that they're only eating two meals a day. And that is terrible. Terrible. You should eat zero. No, just kidding. Um, no, you guys should be eating at least anywhere from about four to five meals a day. And why? Because your metabolism is key for this small waist. Let's just go into that really quick. I'm just going to recap a little bit of our last live. You guys have, it's, um, imagine this as your neutral place of where your blood sugar stays neutral. Okay. Um, when you are neutral, okay, this is, the, you're not below, below sugar or above sugar. When you eat, the first thing you do is your blood sugar goes up. Now, if you eat a balance of like protein, carbs, and fats that are good and you balance those meals out, well, you're going to be very close to this line of staying, staying neutral. But if you eat a donut and nothing else, your blood sugar spikes like this. What ends up happening is your insulin has to come up to reach that. And when that insulin's coming up to break that down, it's supplying so much insulin that then you're going to have this huge plummet down of blood sugar. And that's when you're going to start creating sweets because now your body's saying, I need sweets. That's why we always crave sweets usually around three o'clock of the day is because that insulin or that blood sugar is so low, so low, it's trying to bring us back up to neutral. So say no. I don't listen to my cravings. I'm going to make sure that I'm smarter and I'm going to eat the balance of protein, carbs, and fats, really getting those good vegetables in there is going to essentially keep shrinking that waist. So um, metabolism is so key for this and essentially the same thing as far as as we get older and hitting menopause and having hormones and all that, um, we can reduce our hormone swings if we are eating a balanced diet and we're staying regular with our meals. So having four or five meals a day, you guys, sometimes I even eat six. Again, they're not gargantuan. If I tell you that you have to eat four to five meals, you go, oh man, I can't eat those two large ones. You just start shrinking them down and essentially you're gonna see the biggest difference with your waist. And that's how I really keep mine, mine small and again, by eating a lot of vegetables. So Maria, let me know if that helped um, and I'll answer some more of your questions. Deborah, is it really possible to lift, build a booty in late 40s? What are the best ways and are the band and the bands are great, by the way. Okay, Deborah, love you a lot. Um, I have spoken with you a lot about Evolve and things like that on our website. And I love that you um, are active with me so that way we can communicate and really solve these. Because if you are sitting on a question, then therefore you're not going to do the answers because you're feeling you're feeling frustrated or whatever it is, right? So, Deborah, absolutely it is possible after the age of 40. Why? Because age does not change, doesn't change the way that your muscle is able to develop. Things may be able to go slower as you age, but that doesn't mean that you just immediately stop building muscle. So the biggest thing that I can say to any woman right now, I don't care what age you are, if you are 1 to 100, Okay, not one, probably, all right, you gotta be like, what, in your teens? But at least anywhere from teens into your hundreds, start now. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're 100 years old, start now. Why? Because your hips are so important to make sure we strengthen those and to be able to, to be doing workouts. Your biggest healing components of your body as we age is new muscle, new oxygen, and new blood. If you are focusing on those three things every single day, new oxygen, new blood, and new muscle, you're going to feel younger, vibrant, have more energy, and you're going to be healing your body. 
Karen, um, Karen's on Instagram, and um, sh I'm not sure how old Karen is, um, but she is one of my older gals. And I have to say, Karen, I would love for you to reach out with Deborah um, because I see Karen just full of life and vibrancy and energy, and she's she's doing these booty workouts and she's showing me pictures. And I have to say, Karen, you are looking phenomenal. Deborah, I haven't seen any pictures of you. Um, I bet you look phenomenal as well. But the biggest key is, is to stay consistent. I don't care what age it is. What happens when we start aging, we think, oh, it's not gonna work for us, I'm this age. That's bull honky, right? Can we all agree with that? Start right now. It's so true. It doesn't matter how old you are because Deborah, we're only getting older. You're telling me that like by 50 years old, by 60 years old, right? We wanna make sure that we're still consistently working our body, new blood, new oxygen, new muscle. Wow, that was a rampage, sorry guys. Okay, um, next one. Um, okay, um, I have Sarah and Caitlin on here. It looks like we got some booty band fans. I have not gotten my booty band yet. Um, I promise you guys, they are on their way. I first have to just say thanks for your guys' support. I am a new business owner, and we had so many booty band raving fans that it did throw us a little bit behind. So I just have to say, please be patient. Um, you know, we live in a day and age where we're so used to Amazon and we get it the next day. So know that I'm not an Amazon, okay? So if I can have a little bit of some woman support and just say, what up girls, you're gonna love these bands. Um, you can actually do the exercises before you get the band and actually the biggest key, start working on that diet as well. Um, I give you the member portal, go into the member portal and start doing those workouts now so that way when you get the band, your body feels ready for it, okay? Cool. Um, all right, so I answered a few of those. Let's see. I have double jointed hips, but but won't let me, oh geez, but won't let that stop me. Awesome. Um, here is, oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys, the International Women's Day and how all of these women posted, if you guys haven't taken a moment, I was blown away by how um, motivational and impactful it was to see um, women say stand up and say I'm strong because and things like that that was just so so beautiful so the fact that she's saying hey you know what I have a, a double jointed hips and I doesn't that's not gonna stop me phenomenal that is the right attitude I don't care what age I don't care what size of booty I don't care what injuries you have you're gonna work around it because guess what blood oxygen new muscle that's how we stay with it okay let's go ahead Karen says no soda that's where, That's right, we're getting rid of all of the non-clean items, right? Only if you're working out consistency, I will improve diet, eliminate. Okay, we got another question, we got Erica, she goes, will improving diet eliminate muffin top or are there good workouts for reducing, wow, that's shaking a lot. Um, are we there good, appreciate all my assistance though. Um, okay, or are there good workouts for reducing the muffin top, okay. Perfect, um, Erica, so this is a, a topic on the muffin top. Um, so muffin top, yes, um, I actually have to tell you guys a story about really quick about my muffin top. <laughs> um, I was about 20s and college and, you know, wasn't looking in, I mean, you, when, you, when you live with your own body, you don't really realize what's happening to it and until all of a sudden you see a picture and that picture you're all of a sudden like, Whoa, what's happening, right? <laughs> and I noticed, I'll send you some of my before and after pictures. I sent them to my girls in um, the Facebook private group. And I was starting to develop this like huge tire around my midline. And not only that, like all the cellulite and I was losing my curves. I was not, I did not have a big booty small weight, that's for sure. Um, and, and so what I did is I really honed in on learning how to eat right. And the muffin top, again, I'm gonna go over. Um, the eating about four to five meals a day is so key for the muffin top because when you don't, the extra insulin that comes down to try to break the blood sugar, break the high blood sugar, anything left over is going to store right in your midsection. Another spot is hormones as well. So if we are eating correctly and we are making sure that we're not raising our cortisol levels and we're reducing stress, we're sleeping right, we're, we're drinking enough water so we're not getting bloated. That's another thing. A lot of you guys aren't drinking enough water. You guys are coming in and I'm, I'm making your um, diet 
for my Evolve girls and making your diets for you, for those of you that got it. And, um, and it's, what's happening is you're, um, you're not drinking enough water, so you're actually carrying a lot more water. You're bloating yourselves because you're retaining so much water. So that's another um, key point. But yes, workouts are so, so, so important. There are workouts for the muffin top. Um, thank you for bringing that up. I'll actually put that on my to-do list to make a video in my YouTube video. Um, I just shot a video on what not to do for your abs and what to do instead, and that will be posting soon. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so, Erica. Um, but yes, essentially, it's going to be diet and making sure you're exercising because the thing is, like, we hear about that all the time, right? You hear, like, oh, exercise and eat right, exercise and eat right. But when you start to really know, like, the, the science behind it and what it's doing, okay? Number one, muscle burns fat. So what happens is you start working out and you start feeling bigger because you see muscle and fat on your body and you go, well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get thicker and bigger, right? So immediately stop. No, the biggest thing is staying consistent because eventually you're going to start seeing your before and after pictures. Again, take your before and after pictures. So that way you're able to see your progression of your body shrinking I got some, I'm getting some hearts in here. Body shrinking because your muscles eating that fat. And that's what you really have to do in that area as well. Cool? Hopefully that helped, Erica. Um, will improving diet eliminate muffin top? I already answered that. The bands are amazing. Thank you. All the bands fans ever. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Elizabeth and Maria, see it? Beach life. I lost a lot of weight and my booty deflated. Okay. This is um, probably the last one I want to go on. I don't want to hold up too much of your guys' time. But I hear so much about all these weight loss programs, and they're not teaching you how to keep your curves. They're just saying, reduce your calories and get small. But what ends up happening is you become this soft, skinny, where you lose all of your curves. And it's not what you're looking for, 100%. I'm getting so many girls that are coming to me saying this. So essentially, what I teach you is when you're losing weight, you want to keep resistance on your muscles. You want to keep strengthening those areas so that way after my 10 days of uh, booty workouts you can start using weights with your band um, so now you can squat heavier you can do um, hip thrust with with weight on them things like that so use that as as your beginning plate to get strong and then start watching my YouTube channel as I start showing you how to do um, exercises with with weights and the band and then you can start adding creativity to it. I've got so many girls that are doing um, power lifting, girls that are doing yoga, girls that are doing dancing with the bands, all that stuff. Essentially, you want to keep that nice, good resistance and still using weights um, when you're going through such a, a, a loss. So, yes, you can just pick up, pick up now. Um, if you've already lost a lot of weight, go ahead and just start putting resistance and, um, and weights on it. Um, Comment below for all you booty people that don't know what a booty band is. Um, comment booty in the in the comments below so that way we can help you answer any more questions about booty bands or just send you the link to what these cute little things are, these sturdy, durable, awesomeness. Um, again, not just a band. They come with the 10 days of workouts and a small waist diet program. Essentially, I teach you all the ticks and trips. <laughs> Ticks and trips. Oh God. Um, can you bleep, bloop over that one out? Can you cut that out on life? No, you can't. Okay. So, um, somebody says I don't drink enough water. Um, nope, you probably don't. Um, <laughs> um, why I say that? Because like, most females that come to me, you guys, are not eating enough protein and they're not drinking enough water, period. It's just like, it's just what it is. Um, so if you, if you are not eating protein in every single one of your meals, start today. And if you haven't taken your before and after picture, start today. And uh, if you are not drinking enough water, add mint, raspberry, and lemon in it. It's phenomenal. Okay. Um, all right, where am I at as far as uh, any of these questions? Um, bands come with videos. Yep. Bands come with 10 days of workouts. I like to see results on existing client pictures. Yep. Absolutely. You can actually see, um, you can go into our Facebook group. Or, oh, I see you're not a booty member. If you go to bootybands.com, you'll actually see some um, before and after pictures in there. 
I do show more in our private Facebook group for those that ask. Um, do you have workouts on YouTube? Yes, YouTube under the name Booty Bands, Can Candy Mendez. So you, um, it's youtube.com forward slash booty bands. Um, where can I find the portal? Can I get it emailed? Again, I thought it would come in the box with my booty bands. Ah, Kimmy, okay, no problem. Check your spam folder if you still cannot find it. Um, then yes, we can go ahead and send you that again. Just let us know at um, members at bootybands.com for that question there. Um, yes, bloated, what is the difference between the colors of bands? Cool, let me just go over that really quick and then we'll be done. Hey, this one's level one, this one's purple, and this is for the girls that are just starting. This is an easier resistance band where it provides more movement, um, and this one is great to start off because um, it is not as hard as the level two. Level two band is teal, essentially a little bit smaller and a lot harder as far as resistance goes. Um, okay, so there's that one. Level three, <laughs> they're all over my floor by the way. Level three is pink and essentially a lot harder than level two. Um, so you work your way up the strengths. And then all these like crazy colors, all of like this madness right here, all these like fun, these are for my booty members. I wanted to do something special for them. So anytime they post a picture or a video and they tag uh, booty bands and they tag, or sorry, yeah, they tag us on um, either Facebook or Instagram and they hashtag booty bands and BB members, I can find them. And then every Monday I do um, a giveaway of one of these just to the booty members because you know, they give so much love, and I just want to give, like, give love back. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, Don, this probably sounds stu super stupid, but everyone always mentions water retention or water weight. No one has ever said it, so I get that drinking less makes me release water. Now I get it. I always wondered how I can retain water when I drink less. I'm not actually that dumb, but even nurses can't explain that simple sentence. Honestly, Dawn, thank you so much for saying that. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is so many people try to explain um, all of the scientific of like retention of water and building muscle and like cardio and diet. And sometimes what happens is like all that scientific just goes right over our heads and we're just like, cool, can somebody like break it down and really a real woman that's tried this, that actually has a transformation that has changed many, many, many women's lives, um, I wanna speak to her. And hey, that's why I'm here, you guys. I wanna be able to honestly speak to you. I, I wanna do these lives every single week so that way we can have these conversations. And that's a whole reason why I built the, um, the private Facebook group as well, so that we can be able to speak about these topics with each other and not like, nurses and doctors that are just like, oh, we'll read a book, or like, oh, here's a scientific, or just exercise. You're like, cool, but how? Right? Like, give me something. Give me, like, give me something I can, like, sink my teeth into, and that's essentially what we did. Um, okay, cool, you guys. I just wanted to say thank you. It was awesome having you guys here. Loved relating with you guys, answering some questions. Um, um, so yeah, I just wanted to say lots of love. Thank you so much for the support. The support is crazy unreal. And I just love all of you guys. And I just say, you're, okay, can I just say one thing and then we can be done. But um, I fell into a lot of stress, obviously with this business and with the bands and, and trying to keep up with everything. And obviously I give my heart to you guys and I'm a people pleaser. And so I try to be in every platform possible answering all your guys' questions. And I got really overwhelmed and I have to say I got very stressed out and it actually threw me into a little bit of a depression. But I have to say there's one thing that pulled me out of my depression today. Actually two things, okay? Two things, so if you guys are in any weird funk at all, these two things is what helped me. So hopefully that helps you. I helped another girl on our private Facebook group. But um, she I, she goes, hey guys, I'm in a funk, how can, how can I help? And I told her, I said you gotta use the rocket launch. Um, theory and what that is is you have to count from five down to one and you have to launch yourself out of bed 
Okay, that's the first one. That's what I did. And the second one is um, I don't know if you guys saw my post today on Instagram or I put it in my Facebook members, but it's these two girls that are dancing with a band. Okay, so can I essentially just like mimic like what they were doing? So these two girls put a band on and they straight up just played some like Latina music. And they were just like, what up, what up, dance it to the left, dance it to the right, and they're dancing all over each other. And like your videos and pictures literally got me out of that depression today. So thank you guys so much. I am a real person, I have depression too, and I definitely know that there's funks, and I just want you to know that, hey, I'm here, that if I go through these, I'm gonna let you know some solutions, so that way we can evolve together and become the strong women that you guys showed and proved to me on International Women's Day. So I love you guys a lot. I know I took a lot of your time, but thank you so much. And I'm going to be here next Wednesday doing another live. And I'll answer all these questions I didn't get to because I'm a people pleaser and I'm just going to sit here all night and answer all of them. I love you guys. <laughs> love you. Love you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you again.